The release of a final tranche of the 7.5 million euros in budget support for Guyana came under the European Development Fund, which was developed to support countries of the African Caribbean and Pacific grouping, known as the ACP, after Europe abandoned the preferential market agreement it had with Guyana and other countries of the ACP. The European Union has been a key development partner for Guyana over the decades, and a high-level team has been in the country to fashion a new multi-annual agreement. One of the officials, Javier Nino Perez, told a joint press conference with President Irfan Ali at the office of the president on Tuesday that Guyana will continue to benefit from a national bilateral program of development financing over the coming years, even though the country has now tapped vast oil resources. Uh, this is by no means the end of the, uh, of the cooperation process. On the contrary, this has simply come to an end as it should have been because it was a program of coalition foreseen for two years. Now we enter into the new programming phase uh, and Guyana will be part of that process. And I want to, I want to highlight the fact that uh, even though for other countries we will not foresee bilateral programs in the next seven years, this will not be the case for Guyana. Guyana will continue to benefit from a national program. Meanwhile, President Ali said that while the country is gearing up to transform the economy from oil resources, aid financing is still needed as a bridge before the country gets there. Guyana has so far received just over half a billion U.S. dollars in oil revenues, but that is expected to be significantly ramped up in years to come. Perez said Guyana will continue to benefit from development resources in the near future because the European Union trusts the government and can see that it has a well-defined strategy built on inclusivity that caters for a wide range of including infrastructural development and health. President Ali said Guyana wants to see an expansion of the framework agreement to include the private sector as an important part of the stakeholder component. It is not only about budget support and future programming of resources. It is much more than that now. The new dimension of the relationship is much, much more than that. The, from governance, and, 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 and you notice Mr. Perez is not shy away from, from mentioning that what we are creating is a political partnership. And that's important for us to understand because a political partnership, <clears throat> that is not language you hear from uh, international organizations very often, but there is a tremendous strength when, when, when an organization say we are looking to build political partnerships. The latest disbursement of budgetary support, like the previous tranches, of almost 20 million euros will go to prop up the country's vulnerable sea defense, which both President Ali and Perez recognize as an important safeguard from the rising Atlantic Ocean. President Ali noted that the EU has been the largest provider of grant resources to Guyana. Much of it went into protecting the coastal zone. The European Union ambassador to Guyana, Fernando Pons Canto, noted that in the support provided in recent years, 19.8 million euros was disbursed in December 2020, went into either building or fixing the seawall that acts as a barricade for the coast from what President Ali described as the aggressive Atlantic. President Ali said the sea defenses ensure thousands of arable agricultural lands and housing areas are protected from intrusion of the ocean. For the newsroom, Kurt Campbell.